So here we're adding fractions, but we have a problem, because to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same, but here our denominators are different. So what we need to do is to use equivalent fractions to help us make the denominators the same. First we have 3 quarters plus 1 eighth. Now 8 is in the 4 times table, so we can find a fraction equivalent to 3 quarters which has a denominator of 8. We can use multiplication to find equivalent fractions and 4 times 2 is 8. What we do to the denominator we need to do to the numerator as well and 3 times 2 is 6. So we found that 3 quarters is equivalent to 6 eighths. So we can rewrite our question. Instead of 3 quarters we can write 6 eighths because that's equivalent to 3 quarters and we're adding 1 eighth. So now our denominators are the same, so we keep the denominator the same in our answer and just add the numerator. 6 plus 1 is 7, so our answer is 7 eighths. Now we have 2 fifths plus 2 fifteenths. Now 15 is in the 5 times table, so to add these fractions we need to find a fraction equivalent to 2 fifths which has a denominator of 15. 5 times 3 is 15 and 2 times 3 is 6. So now we can rewrite our question. Instead of 2 fifths we can write 6 fifteenths because that's the same as 2 fifths, that's equivalent to 2 fifths. We're adding 2 fifteenths so the denominator stays the same in our answer and 6 plus 2 is 8, so our answer is 8 fifteenths. Now we have 7 twelfths plus 1 quarter. Now 12 is in the 4 times table, so this time it's the second fraction, it's the fraction we're adding that we need to find an equivalent fraction for. We need to find an equivalent fraction to 1 quarter which has a denominator of 12. 4 times 3 is 12 and what we do to the denominator we need to do to the numerator as well and 1 times 3 is 3. So we know that 1 quarter is equivalent to 3 twelfths. So we can rewrite our question. We still start with 7 twelfths but instead of adding 1 quarter we can add 3 twelfths because that's equivalent to 1 quarter. So the denominators are the same, so we keep the denominator the same in our answer and just add the numerator. 7 plus 3 is 10, so our answer is 10 twelfths. We can show what we did with fraction bars. First we had 3 quarters and we were adding 1 eighth. We changed 3 quarters into 6 eighths, which meant that we could add the 1 eighth to get 7 eighths as our answer. Here we started with 2 fifths and we were adding 2 fifteenths. We changed 2 fifths into 6 fifteenths and that meant that we could add the 2 fifteenths to get 8 fifteenths as our answer. Here we started with 7 twelfths and we were adding 1 quarter. We changed 1 quarter into 3 twelfths which meant that we could add it to the 7 twelfths to get 10 twelfths as our answer. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.